How's it going everyone? Here a look at the upcoming game releases of this week. Would have to say, pretty solid lineup this week with a lot of variety in what's coming. You've got some bigger games, you've got some smaller games. But I think you could find at least one game to capture your interest, maybe not pick up right away, but at the very least, add to the wish list. maybe wait for a sale on. But let's get right into it, and let's start things off with Stranger of Paradise Final Fantasy Origin. Now, this is a game that's been talked about for a little while now, and by the way, there is a demo available on the PlayStation Store, so I would recommend you to go download that, give it a shot, see how you like it. This is done by Team Ninja, who most of you probably know for their work on Neo, some of the Ninja Gaiden titles. They are a very talented studio, so it's unfortunate that Stranger of Paradise Final Fantasy Origin is kind of going under the radar. I know everybody memed it to the ground when that Chaos trailer came out. I don't know who, like, greenlit that trailer to go live, but Square Enix, I don't know if it was your master plan to, like, just capture interest from the meme factor, but come on, now you guys know better than that. But, uh, no, seriously, the game itself looks good. If you played the demo, you're probably gonna be like, Holy hell, memes aside, this is a pretty decent Souls-like game, and the last trailer they showed from the State of Play event I thought was a great trailer. I thought it did excite some people. I just question whether or not people are ready to drop $60 on this game, but we'll see how it turns out. The game is scheduled for a release on March 18th. It'll be hitting like every platform outside of the Switch, PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Xbox Series X and S, and it will be coming PC via the Epic Games Store, so the Steam release will probably be happening a year from now. Next up, we have Grand Theft Auto V's PlayStation 5 upgrade as well as GTA Online. I know a lot of you guys are ready to buy GTA 5 again. Maybe for some of you it'll be for the third time. Maybe for some of you, you guys have been relatively good with yourself and you know, kind to yourself, and you've only bought it once at this point, and this will be your second time. It should be noted that if you've never played GTA 5, which has to be like two people on the planet, um, you can just buy the game for $9.99. Like, it'll be available for $9.99 instead of its standard $39.99 for the first three months after its launch. So you can just jump in right there, and that is that is a great price if you don't already own the game. If you already own the game, I mean, who likes paying for upgrades? Probably nobody, but uh, yeah. At least it's not like 20 bucks, 30 bucks, or whatever the case may be. GTA Online, by the way, PlayStation Plus freebie. So if you do want to jump into GTA Online, maybe bust out that wallet to buy some shark cards, that'll be an option as well come March the 15th. The online version will be available to Plus subscribers for a couple of months, add it to your library, and then it's available for you to own. Uh, after that three months, GTA Online will be $19.99. Next up, we have Persona 4 Arena Ultimax. Finally, Persona 4 Arena is back. I don't know if a ton of people were waiting for the return of P4A, but it's nice to see P Persona 4 Arena be readily available to everyone. The stakes are ultimate, the tension is maximum, the fight is Ultimax. Experience the latest entry into the beloved Persona 4 series with a thrilling fighting twist. Join the heroes as they combat any army of shadows in the P1 Climax. Ultimax version includes all previously released Persona 4 Arena Ultimax content, including the original Persona 4 Arena story, a deep roster of playable characters, dual audio as well. So you got that going on, and I think a very, very good element of this game is the price point, $29.99. Great price point for that. They probably could have gotten away with a $39.99 price point, but hey, not complaining at all, $30 count me in. Next up, we have Anno Mutation. This is a game that I've been talking about on this channel for quite a bit. And at this point, guys, be on the lookout for this one. It is just a couple short days away. It'll be coming March the 17th, and it's an action-adventure game with RPG elements set in a cyberpunk world featuring a unique mix of pixelated 2D and 3D graphic style with a rich, dark, and bizarre plot. Right away, the art style to this game is something right up my alley. I am a fan of these more pixelated looks that a lot of games are adopting, but this one looks incredibly colorful. This city just looks absolutely bustling, and the story does look rather interesting, and from a gameplay standpoint, looks quite good as well. And the story, a grand story befitting a rich and dark cyberpunk decor, featuring our main hero, Ana Flores, and her trusty hyper-hacker sidekick, Anya, on a personal mission to find out where her missing brother has gone to. Little do they know what just they will unravel. Collect, buy, or craft items and upgrade and stats, skills, and gears. Use chips to modify any kind of weapon you find, equip, and, and make her combat ready for all enemies, both humanoid and not. 
And on top of that, you'll slash, shoot, combo, grenade, throw, and ground and pound her way through hordes of enemies and huge bosses. This one is scheduled for release again, March 17th. Next up, another fighting game that's definitely going under the radar compared to Persona 4 Arena. We have Phantom Breaker Omnia. Phantom Breaker Omnia is a fast-paced 2D anime fighting game that features 20 unique characters pitted against one another to make the greatest wishes come true. The ability to choose between three fighting styles will appeal to seasoned gamers while making the game accessible to new newcomers reads its official description you've got a 20 character roster includes all the characters and guest characters from phantom breaker extra like kuriso makase from steins gate that's right up my alley and two brand new characters created specifically for the game you've got three different fighting styles returned and rebalanced dual audio language on top of that the game is scheduled for a release on march 15th Next up, we have a pretty charming game here, The Cruel King and the Great Hero. This is a game that I didn't know too much of before working on this video, and right away, the vibes I get from this game, to be perfectly honest, look at a little bit of Child of Light, and I love Child of Light, so something like that would be right up my alley. It seems to have like that coming of age aspect that Child of Light also had, but it notes, join an intrepid girl on her many adventures as she strives to become a hero with the help of her mighty dragon protector. Along the way, meet new friends, collect items, and help folk from all walks of life discover a heartwarming tale of kindness, companionship, and family in a gorgeous hand-drawn world. Visual style right up my alley, so I definitely am digging that. $29.99 as far as the price point goes will be coming to PlayStation 4 and Nintendo Switch. And lastly, another game that I've been looking forward to for a little while, and that is Dawn of the Monsters. Now, it does look like it'll be coming Tuesday, March 15th. Steam still has it listed for early 2022, so I'm going in with the idea that this is dropping on Tuesday, but Dawn of the Monsters notes a cataclysmic battle between giant monsters has begun in a manga-inspired side-scrolling kaiju beat-em-up. Right away, man, that art style, if you're a fan of manga, if you're a fan of comic books, how can you not dig that art style? The game notes four unique monsters playable characters, Megadon Garnia, Aegis Prime, and Tempest Galahad, earth-shattering monster v. monster combat, or two-player co-op beat-em-up action, fully destructible cities based on real-world locations, brutal rage abilities, devastating cataclysm attacks, and murder merciless finishing moves, fierce bosses, and dozens of different enemy types. Customize your monsters with DNA augments. Dawn of the Monsters looks to be a beat-em-up that I think a lot of people can get into if they're a fan of beat-em-ups, but if you're just a fan of cool art style, stylish visual, stylish gameplay, Dawn of the Monsters might be something to be on the lookout for. Again, looks like this one will be dropping on March 15th, and that's going to wrap it up for me again. Pretty loaded lineup of releases this week. Personally speaking, Stranger Paradise Final Fantasy Origin. It's a game that, you know, if I didn't have this channel, I would probably say, hey, I can skip on that one for now and uh, pick it up when it's on sale. But I'm going to pick it up. I'll let you guys know what I think. GTA 5 is GTA 5. I'm sure it'll sell millions. It's GTA 5. Persona 4 Arena. I think a lot of people are going to be excited about that. Ano Mutation, I know, doesn't have all the buzz in the world, but definitely be on the lookout for that. That might be a surprising game. And Dawn of the Monsters and another one that really does stick out to me so a lot of cool stuff this week that's gonna do it for me sound off with all of your thoughts in the comment section down below thank you for watching and goodbye hey guys we hope you enjoyed the video and if you did make sure to hit the subscribe button and if you're already subscribed do us a favor and hit the bell icon this way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video that's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads and we usually try to upload two videos a day and with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.